Good morning, students. Today, in theme nine, Industrial Revolution, I will give you the introduction of this chapter. Today, we start our next chapter, Industrial Revolution. Now, here you see the map of India, and you know that. the uh, name of this chapter industrial revolution it means that a revolution comes in the industry revolution comes when we saw the change change in uh, anything but on that time we saw the change in the industry so when the change comes not in the uh, in a particular country we saw that change uh, was also spread up in many countries of the world here you see uh, the united kingdom or england then the, this is the uh, part here you see this is the europe european countries first of all the industrial revolution uh, came in the europe now here you see this is the map of england if you see the key of the map uh, here in the upper side red color red color shows that this one is the scotland then green color green color this one this is the england then the blue color blue color this is the wales okay so this whole england uh, was divided uh, th these were the three parts if we are saying that these uh, are the three parts of the england okay now the first industrial revolution the transformation of industry and the economy in britain between 1780s and 1750s known as the first industrial revolution okay we saw the changes in the industries and in the economy of in the britain okay this had impact on society and economy of european in countries when we saw the changes in the industry or the uh, in the economy naturally we saw the impact of all these things on the society okay and the economy of all the european countries industrial development in britain strongly associated with new machinery and technology how this uh, revolution came because we saw the new machinery and the new technology also came in the britain industry okay that's why we saw the a new change or revolution in the britain same as it is if we see in this time uh, uh, we saw the changes in the technology uh, we saw the new new uh, software also uh, came okay and uh, what is this this is called the revolution in the it sector okay because the changes we see time to time we saw the changes in the in this industry in this it industry so theme uh, as it is on that time we saw the changes in the industry okay especially in the machinery and in the technology new technology and machinery help to produce goods on massive scale on a large scale compared to handicrafts and handloom before the machinery the people they were also made each and everything but that one uh, also the handlooms or the handicrafts okay but with the help of the machinery now they produce a large number on a large scale the things okay a new source of power steam begin to be used in british industry now they for uh, running of this machine they use, they were used the steam steam engines they were uh, made the steam engines and that steam, uh, with the help of that steam engines or the power they were also run uh, many big machines it used for transportation railway and ships steam engines as you know that uh, in the starting the all the railway also running uh, rails also running through with the help of the steam engine okay and the ships also 
so the steam engines uh, used for the transportation also those who invented this were not wealthy and educated okay they were not the engineers they were not too much wealthy or uh, rich people they were not too much educated people but they uh, invented all these things now the industrialization made some wealthy when the industry this uh, revolution we also saw the changes in the industry it also made uh, some people wealthy or rich but it created poor living more than the rich poor people poor working condition for millions of the people now the people they were working in the factories okay but and the in the they were also lived in a poor condition in a very miserable and hygienic condition so this caused protest okay because the people man, uh, large number of the people they were lived in this type of the condition so they were also protested against the condition as a result of this the government enacted laws so uh, because of the protect uh, their protest the people sorry the government also made uh, for the welfare of their working people okay they made the different laws the term industrial revolution used by european scholars uh, for the george mckay in france and frederick engels in the germany this is the picture of that time okay a word industrial revolution first used by the philosopher and the economist arnold toy nobby in 1852 to 83 he used this to describe the changes occurred in the british industrial development between 1760 to 1820 okay because he uh, saw the changes in between this period but that period because in this period we saw a lot of the changes that's why this is called the industrial revolution this period called the industrial revolution by the philosopher and the economist arnold toybee uh, all this these questions are very, these points are very important for one more question okay his lecture published in 1884 lectures on the industrial revolution in england popular and addresses notes and other fragments also we saw on that time historians like p s ashton paul mentox and the eric obsworth agreed with the toyby and there was remarkable economic growth from the 1780s to 1820 in the cotton and the industrial uh, industries in the coal mining industries then in the building of the roads and the canals and in the foreign trade so in all these four parts we saw the remarkable economic growth okay so that's why this period called the industrial revolution okay student uh, next topic why britain we will discuss in our next video thank you